Hi everyone, my name is Ashley, A-S-H-L-I-E, and please don't forget to subscribe to me. I love doing makeup reviews, and today we are going to be reviewing the Transition Palette from Dominique Cosmetics. This has all beautiful natural colors, and since it is a multi-purpose palette, you have your setting powders, blush, contour, brightener we did an eye look contour and all that on my face then i jumped in with the bourgeois paris healthy mix foundation if you like the way this look came out please keep watching get comfy and let's get right into the video okay so first we're going to talk about the transition palette from domini cosmetics here is the adorable packaging here is a ginormo mirror and all of these beautiful nude colors anywhere from light to dark. They're all matte. There is 15 shades. It is cruelty free and it is $48. Some facts about this palette. It is very versatile for multi-uses, whether it be your eyes, lightening under your eyes, bronzer, defining, Highlight, play up your eyes, enhance your brows, choose daytime, no makeup, makeup looks, or go full on sultry. Smoky glam, there's not much our transition palettes, blendable long wearing pigments can't do. We even made the pan sizes large enough to fit a complexion brush so you can create endless looks more easily than ever. I'm really excited to use this on my whole face today. I want to see besides my foundation what i can really do with this palette right here because if you can tell it kind of looks like it has your setting powder you can use a blush and you can use depending on your undertone skin sorry my nail gotta do my nails again depending on your undertone which one you would use as a contour bronzer so i'm pretty excited about this guy right here i've been wanting this for a hot minute this i've been wanting to try for a while this is the bourgeois paris healthy mix foundation it's an anti-fatigue foundation it has a lot of vitamins in it let's talk about facts this foundation i got from amazon it was nine dollars and 22 cents the brand itself was discontinued in 2019 but you can still buy this from amazon it is french makeup this is a very long lasting foundation it lasts all day it has vitamin c that gives an anti-fatigue effect vitamin e that performs antioxidant action and vitamin b5 that tonifies the skin contains hyaluronic acid derivative that provides 24 hour hydration which is good especially for winter time because it's getting cold outside and my skin's starting to get a little on the dry side spherical powders provide soft focus and soft feel effect and optically blurs your blemishes now let me tell you this second head that's growing on my face it needs to go i want to see what i can do to hide this ginormo thing right here it is suitable for all skin types especially especially dry skin. It will look extremely radiant. It is medium buildable coverage. It does not block or clog your pores. It was reviewed very, very good. I checked her out quite a bit. So first I'm gonna start off with CoverGirl Lid Lock Up Primer. One of my all time favorite lid primers. Let's put a little bit on each lid. With a finger, I'm just going to tap it all over my lid. I like to take a little bit of the excess and just put it under my eye. So I'm going to go in to the palette. I want to go in with the natural shade and set the primer on my eyes. I'm going with this brush because it's pretty big and rounded. Just tap that right on my eyelid. It won't be as tacky. It'll be very easy to blend the colors. A little bit underneath. First, I'm going to start off with Soft and Sweet, which is this gorgeous light pink, which is the same that's going to be my blush. Let's pop this right in the crease as our transition color. Now 
darken it up just a little bit. So I'm gonna go in with this darker purple, which is chai. Just mainly focusing this on the outer corner and in my crease. They are so far very pigmented when you just tap in the shadow and they blend out very well. So far I'm really liking it. Okay, I'm gonna go into this color natural one more time and just go on top of the dark purple I just used to help lighten that, to help it look a little bit more smoky. I don't want any harsh lines. To darken it just a little bit, I'm gonna go in with cinnamon, this nice dark chocolate brown. Just tap it more or so on the outside and then blend it out. I'm gonna go in with this color, honey. It's kinda like a mustardy gold, I really like that. Let's go right on the inside. And with this white frothy, I'm gonna put that all the way up here on the brow bone. take some of these two colors right here, mix them together, and put it on the lower lash line. So far I really like the quality of the palette. It is building up, blending out, the pigment is phenomenal. And for all the different uses and how versatile it is, beside your eyes, you could do your blush, the highlights, it's definitely worth the money. I'm gonna go in with Wet n Wild Photo Focus Water Drop Primer in Rose to prime my face. Feels very cooling and hydrating kind of like really cool water almost feeling. I'll let that settle in. I'm going to go in with the Maybelline New York Master Precise All Day Liquid Liner Matte. This little cute guy here. It does have a velvet tip. It does have a nice precise tip. I'm gonna jump right off, put my wings on, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and the wings are on. So I'm gonna jump to the next step. I'm gonna do like the palette claims to do. I'm gonna jump in with one of the browns to do my eyebrows. I'm gonna go in with this really small tip and go into the shade Coffee Beans, which is this brown right here. Start filling them in. I have to mix a little bit with the black because it was not my exact color. It was too much red in that coffee bean. Let me see if I can comb this through and make it look half decent. Don't use this on your brows if it does not have your exact shade. Because I had to mix like three different colors and it still looks look crazy. So I definitely won't do that again. I'm gonna go into save the day with my Glossier Boy Brow and comb some of this right shade through. I'm going to jump in with the foundation, put a pump on the back of my hand. I'm gonna start with one side of my face to see if it does have that medium to buildable coverage. to say this foundation smells really good it smells like fruity very lightly it doesn't have a really strong scent 
but it gives off a very light scent of fruit. It smells wonderful. So you could tell the difference. The redness definitely went down. It's definitely at least a medium coverage. It looks beautiful and radiant on the skin. It was very easy to blend out. It didn't want to stick to any of my dry spots, which is a really good thing. I'm going to go on the other side and do the same thing. I'm going to go in with a beauty blender just to get all of the brush lines off my face. Okay, to see if it is in fact buildable, I'm going to go in one more time and put one more layer on my face. It definitely built up to a full coverage, that's for sure. It took away all my redness for my breakouts. It looks super radiant. And it was so, so creamy and easily buildable. It was very easy to blend. I am highly impressed with this foundation. I will have to put in my description if it lasted all day. So for a full coverage foundation, $9, it was well worth it. I really love how it makes my face look. With the shade Frothy, I'm going to go and set some on my face. I'm going to go in with this sponge. I'm going to take a slightly larger brush into that and set the rest of my face. Just very lightly. I don't want to use too much because I still want all of that radiant look. I'm going with a flat brush into Soft and Sweet, this pink right here, and use that as my blush. That is very, very pretty. I love that color. I'm going to go in between caramel and toffee and get a nice, beautiful bronze out of those two. I'm mainly using toffee to bronze my face and the blush looks phenomenal. It's nice and natural. It's not too heavily pigmented. I mean, you can build it up, but I wanted it more natural. I want to keep this look more natural today, so I'm not going to put a shimmery, crazy, glittery highlighter on. I'm going to leave it as is. I'm going to go in with the Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray. Okay, I'm gonna go in with blushing and just take that right under the bottom lash line. I'm going to take a little bit of the white frothy and just highlight the inner corners of my eyes.
Helps you look a little bit more awake when we are tired. For mascara, I'm going with the Revlon So Fierce Big Bad Lash. One of my all-time favorites from the drugstore. This mascara is very good for volume, if that's what you're looking for. See how much volume that mascara gives. I adore this mascara. I love it so much. With my lips, I'm going to do one of my favorite combinations, which is a nice natural nude lip with the Sweet Tea from Morphe Lip Liner. And then I fill in these sides. From the Maybelline Lifter Gloss, it has hyaluronic acid. This is in the color Six Reef. It is a beautiful pink gloss. See how pretty it is? And it smells so good. And is a perfect combination lip for a beautiful everyday natural look. I hope you all enjoyed today's video as everything basically came out together. I just did not like using it for my eyebrows. Don't think I'll do that again. But everything else turned out to be gorgeous. I love you all and I'll see you all on my next video. Bye y'all.